Another place remembering the September 11th terrorist attacks today, Georgia Military College. Remy Cohen went to Milledgeville to see the school's remembrance of a tragic day in history. Bringing Americans together in tribute for those who died on 9-11. Maya Hall says it's the day she wants to remember. Even though I wasn't like born like during that time, it means a lot to me that we're being out here and kind of just remembering those people who really just sacrificed and just gave their lives to make sure that nothing else like this happens again. President William B. Caldwell wants his students to never forget. We want the, the memories of those who gave their lives especially those first responders at 9-11. We, we want them to know that there's a feeling of patriotism and, su and support in America that despite all things that you may hear or feel or uh, encounter, that when it comes down to it, Americans are there for Americans. What I'm going to take from it is making sure that I stay grateful for what I have and like making sure that Everyone else is kind of reminded of what they have here. Students wrote the names of more than 10,000 people who died on 9-11 and in Iraq and Afghanistan. They also reflected on the impact of the day. For those who gave their lives and sacrificed, I'm super thankful. In Milledgeville, Ramey Cohen, 13 WMAZ News. You can find more Remembrance events around Central Georgia on 13WMAZ.com. There we have a list of several other ceremonies happening this weekend. There's a Bigfoot sighting in Jones County. Coming up next, Suzanne Lawler shows us how he got there and how he's helping heal sick children. Army Specialist Erica Alexson from Edenton was assigned to the 978th Military Police Company, 93rd Military Police Battalion, Fort Bliss, Texas. The 21-year-old deployed to Afghanistan in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. Alexson and five of her fellow comrades were killed by an improvised explosive device and on July 8, 2012. Thank you for your service, Specialist Alexson.